there we go. Welcome to Coffee's World. I am painting this, and I messed up my. I had a good visual on both myself and the paint job. I will get the excess off in between. Um, and I'm painting it for Stephanie, as you saw in the previous video. I'm doing a rock and roll purple inside the lines. I think I'll do a brighter color outside. I could have even used a smaller brush. Um, again, this is inspired by Mia Maples. If you want a little link, let me grab and have this <clears throat> to just wipe in between the lines, in between the lines. Um, ah. I mean, it's okay because I'm going to end up painting outside of them anyway, but. I would prefer there not to be. Actually, I'm starting so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Um, a lot outside those lines. This is a perfect candidate for this um, because it's not shiny, so it will hold the paint better. And no, this is not our uh, watercolor, this is acrylic. <coughs> and I will spray this with a couple coats of um, spray so she can put it outside if she wants to, of clear coat. Okay, let's. Turn this. Guys, keep in mind when you watch Mia's video about this, I am not Mia. Mia can do anything. I mean, anything. She would tell you she's not good at stuff, but she is. She's good at virtually everything. Whether it's makeup, sewing, um, painting stuff like this, anything. She's good at it. She's one of those self deprecating people, you know? But not in a comedic way. She actually believes that. She isn't good at these things, which is a total, un, you know, just, I can't believe she looks at herself that way. <laughs> what I'm doing here is just wiping off any thickness in between, because anything else will obviously be covered by the other color. Whatever other color I choose to use, which I have not decided. What goes good with purple? Um, what colors go good with purple? Like if you were to wear a purple blouse, what pants would you wear with it? I might wear black pants with it, but I'm not going to paint this black. Um, I could do white, you know, just clean up the white, but I don't want to do that either. So, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, and she can bake too. 
to decorate cakes. So, this will not live up to what me is capable of because of my hand-eye coordination issues, but I can still make it look pretty. You know, once I do the areas all around. Oh, and I didn't tell you in the, uh, what do you call it? In the Daily Journal, uh, Jack from Rockernuts is having bypass surgery as we speak. So keep him in your prayers. I may have to do another coat in the lines. Um, My vertical lines are much better than my horizontal lines. I do not know why, but it seems like my vertical lines are better than my kind of deeper. <laughs> I ended up getting up and taking cough medicine at 5 o'clock this morning. So if I yawn a little bit, that's why. I'm a little tired from that. anybody else live with me, I would have kept the whole house up happy. Hope I didn't keep anybody up upstairs with my happy. Um, anyway, back to Jack. He and Jenna were both crying in their video that they made about the situation. He had gone to the emergency room because he had been had, with exertion, had been having compression in his chest, some issues, and they discovered he was totally blocked up. And they couldn't put a stent in because the blockage was too hard. If that makes sense. Um, it was too calcified. So. Um, they had to do actual bypass surgery this morning. The whole family was there with him. Well, his mom, the two girls, Camille and Grace, and Jenna, not the older kids. I'm sure they've been there. They just weren't there for the video. The older daughter was actually filming the video. And they've got a kid that's doing the editing for them. Because um, he did film a couple of other videos before he ended up in the hospital. He's going to be there for five to seven days, but it's going to be a couple of months of recovery. So he's not going to be able to buy units for a while. So Jana's going to be doing their auctions to, to try to, you know, plus they have stuff still on eBay to try to bring in more funds. So, um, while we're, while he was not able to work, you know, because the storage unit is his job, 
but here's what he does. He sells it. So. Okay. I'm going to let this dry. I'm trying to decide what I want to do for the outside part. I'm actually going to do another coat of that, but let's see what we want to do for the outside part. I don't feel well with the purple. Pink might work. I'm thinking is rose color. Yeah, thinking is rose color. So we'll do that. Um, see if I have another good brush. Yep. I mean, they're all good brushes, but um, another brush that I could actually use to go along with. So, what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for that to dry, which will not take long, is just do the edges with the pink, the rose. I'm just going to do the edges. The brown top edge and stuff. Oh, I like that color. Oh, yeah, that goes nice with the purple. That's going to be a couple colors, too, for sure. color to go with. And it definitely is going to need some coats. Alright. I will, um, I'm going to do some lines in between. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's what you need. Okay. Um, Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. No quotes McDonald's there, but I don't want to accidentally dip in the purple. Yep. I'll do two coats for sure. This is going fabulously. Oops. Um, they are very Christian family, uh, Jack and Dana, and they ask for prayers and. I'm asking for prayers for Jack. Yeah, it's definitely going to need two, at least two cups of each. But having the pink in between the purple here okay, will make it easier to see where to put the purple. So I might even use a smaller brush for that for the second coat to make sure that um, I stay within the lines of the purple. Okay. 
And I did put newspaper down on the table. Oh, yeah. When um, Now that there's a little bit of pink in between, I'll be able to suss out the lines a little bit better. Oh, I forgot to do the in-between here. Okay. Make sure I didn't miss any in-betweens. Right there. Okay. I'm going to let this dry completely. I'm going to put both of these in here. Um, You know what I didn't do? I completely missed the purple line. It has no paint on it at all. Boop. There. Now, what I'm going to do, I think put the purple back. I'm going to keep it out. Um, like I said, I do have paper here. I do have paper here. Is I'm going to let it dry thoroughly. Mm. Which won't take very long. And I will go back over it. Over the purple. Now, I didn't go in between each of the lines. I left those white. I just went around each of the sections. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't. Um, I should have, but I guess no, don't want to do that. Wipe out. <laughs> Why well, it's still wet? Okay, I'll fix that with white later. Um, I want to leave the white in between the purple. And just have the pink around the edges. I can make you see that better. There we go. Thing on my big head. Oh my goodness. How are we doing on time? Wow, that was 16 minutes, guys. <laughs> um. Okay, the top is dry, so what I can do is flip it over. I'm going to do the bottom pick. Again, that is why I'm. Yep, there's a sticker on it, and I'm not going to try to mess with it. Supposed to be a nice day today, so. Yeah, I'm thinking about making a shelf out of that thing that I disassembled. And I'll tell you, the disassembly was quick work um, with my new power screwdriver. It would have taken way longer without it, I can tell you that. Um, without a doubt. Okay, there we go. I will. There. Try to make more opaque. 
acrylic is not very opaque. <laughs> I'm sure oil would be, but you wouldn't want to use oil on something like this. You just wouldn't. Because our acrylic is non-toxic, so that's a better idea. Um, okay. I think my purple is probably dry, so I'm going to have my purple. Here it is. And we'll start lining the purple again. Or to be exact, they call this mauve. This is not mauve. Mauve is pink. should use a smaller brush for this. I think I'm going to find a smaller brush. I like that tip better too for this job. I don't care about. Um, I know I keep going back and forth between Mia and Jack, but I'm really concerned about Jack. You know, it was hard not just as a fan, but as a human being. You see Janice sitting next to him, lazy and crying, you know. Actually, it's looking pretty good. I would definitely be proud to give this away. I think I'll turn this uh, a little more. It turns better on its face, trust me. Yeah, I'm stuck in the house till Tuesday because, um, they're only there Tuesday and Thursday in the PA clinic, which is in the infectious disease clinic, <laughs> um, which is kind of funny. Because um, I'm, I'm like, why do I see AIDS stuff everywhere? Unnerving. And the secretary said, because it's an infectious disease. <laughs> Ew. And so is tuberculosis. <laughs> so yeah, it's... um. <laughs> it was a little unnerving at first. I'm like, um, I had an AIDS clinic, technically. <laughs> so, been to a lot of clinics, but this was my first uh, time in infectious disease. So it's hard to know what to expect. Next time it won't be so Holy crap, there's AIDS stuff everywhere, you know? Because I will know that, that is what to expect. Um 
I know I go back and forth between things. It's how my brain works. I try to stay on a topic, but it doesn't work with my brain. Um, but I do want to finish off the topic of Jack. Jack did not have a heart attack. As a matter of fact, Jack's cholesterol is perfectly normal. His blood pressure is perfectly normal. And his heart is fairly healthy. They can't imagine why he has this rock solid blockage. So. Ugh. Anyway. Um, He has his doctors utterly confused. <laughs> so. Oh no, I want it there. Dummy, I want I did I don't want it there. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Evidently, they're doing a, a second round of Willy Wonka. I don't know why, but I just saw it advertised to move on to other subjects. Anybody else seen it advertised? If so, what do you think? I'm not sure what to think. I mean, I don't know what more you can do with the story. Unless you go back years later to uh, Charlie running the chocolate factory, but they're still showing Willy Wonka, and I do think that it's um, Johnny Depp. That's what it sounded like. That's what he sounded like. You know, I don't have anything against Johnny Depp. I really don't. You know, a lot of people are saying stuff about his court battle with his ex. And you know what? These celebrities battle with each other once they're exes. They just do. Fortunately, I don't think there were any young children involved, so. But where there's money, there's battles. I mean, <laughs> it's just the way it goes. Okay, that's the second coat on that. Let that dry a little bit. Then we'll do the second coat on the which I just dropped my lip. Um, but for now, we'll do the second coat on the pink on the top. Again, the pink is called Rose. Well, it's not the top, it's the bottom, but it's the big flat surface. It's the big flat thing, big flat surface. It is a big flat surface. Da 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 da. -da. 
This is thoroughly dry. I'll probably dry it overnight before I spray the clear coat on or dry it for hours. Um, and do the clear coat. Because it definitely needs a couple coats of clear coat for her to use it outside. Otherwise, paint will all come off. So. Just trying to look perfect. Good. Okay. Let that dry. Flip it over, and we'll do the pink outlines again. Uh, with a white. Try to sharpen that white a little bit. Okay. Pink is dry. Time to do the second coat of rose. Yeah, I may sharpen up the, the in-between the actual purple lines with white. Uh-oh. What do you guys think of a new Lord Wonka movie? Like I said, I don't know what they're going to do with it because it doesn't appear that they're moving the story forward, you know, with Charlie taking over, which is where the story should be moving forward to, in my opinion. Because Charlie was given the chocolate factory at the end of the last movie. So, it should be Charlie running it as an adult. Maybe he'll have a Um, contest figuring out a way to drop a factory in his retirement. You know, that would make sense. It would be a logical step forward. Especially since the original was, you know, 50 years ago almost. You could even bring Charlie back, the original Charlie, to, um, oh, to host the contest. Like I said, to give the chocolate factory to a new kid. It can be an ongoing thing, you know. It's been 50 years, so. Like I said, could definitely do it that way. I'm going to flip this over. But it's not dry yet. That's my top to flip over. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oops. 
Alright. I am trying my very, very, very best. I know it's not perfect, but I want it to be as nice as it can possibly be for a gift. You know what I mean? I think I've reached, nope, not yet. I was going to say I thought I reached the other side, but I haven't reached the other side yet. Almost. Um, I know this is a long video, but it kind of has to be. Um, because what do you edit out? straight line there, one straight line there, and how am I doing? Good. Now, let this dry again. Now I'm going to try to do a little bit of white in between, here we go, use a nice small brush for that, in between the purple lines, which are dry, so I can do that. Here's the white, here's the white. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Go right back. Because I just want to do a little white in between the purple lines just to. Oops. Uh, On the bump. On the bump. Yeah, that's not going to work. I mean, some of it will, but a lot of this white is turning purple. Alright, I don't want to smudge it. All that's going to do is smudge it. So, looks so good. I think it looks good. Gonna let it dry. Gonna flip it. And there are areas that I can do. Right here. Sharpen up the light a little bit. Nope, that doesn't work either. Anyway, I'll be able to flip it over soon. And I will spray it. Crap. What do I need to do? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so the light is out, but that's okay. There's still light, very clearly visible in between the majority of the purple lines. And the rows around the purple, I like it. What do you guys think? <laughs> What do you think? There we go. Right there. Now I'm going to take a picture of it. <coughs> the thumbnail. <coughs> And I'm going to clean up. Keep that purple. Mm. Okay. Um, you take this. This. Alright. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Okay. You know what? Let's put you in the. There we go. You see that? 
see what I'm doing in the mirror. Okay. around edges and stuff but yeah I don't have the hand for that so okay let that sit on the newspaper and think about what it's done the brushes are clean they just need to dry the palette looks brand new holding it too fast sorry um I love this palette, by the way. Not not so much the thumb hole because I I can't really do that, but I like the size of it. <coughs> and these spots here, the bigger spots, are for mixing colors. These are for individual colors, and then these big ones here, these big ones here, are for mixing, and these ones around the edge are for individual colors. Just so you know. Um, thank you so much for joining me. It's going to be a long edit, but that's okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to make a third video because I have the Kid Missing video going up anyway. Um, so, let's just, like I said, sit and think about what it's done. <laughs> uh, in a few hours, when it's completely, totally dry, I'll take it outside, give it a good spray. Rub it, leave it upside down to do that. Um, give it a double spray with this. Now, how long do you need to let this dry before you do the second coat? Does not say. Doesn't say. But this is. Two times ultra cover gloss clear seals protects and revitalizes fast drying non yellowing UV resistant wood metal plastic and more
and probably weather resistant as well. You hear that? They put like a marble or a ball bearing or something inside to mix the paint. They do that with some, they used to do that with old nail polishes too. Um, they don't do that with nail polishes anymore, but they used to. I remember hearing the little ball in the nail polish and my mother would, um, what she would do, she would take it, tap it on her hand to mix it and you, you could hear the ball bearing in the background. So, before I was anywhere near old enough to, uh, use nail polish. Although my mother would put clear or really light nail polish on me when I was a kid too. If I wanted to be like her. <laughs> so I have clear on right now. Uh, because it's the one that helps you to um, helps your nails grow and stuff. But I'll tell you what, the stuff yellows. <coughs> I may have to put a coat of nail polish over it because it, it yellows. That would be my only complaint. It, it yellows. Makes your nails look like a smoker, which I do not like. Um, so, I'll have to put uh, color over it. Which should glide on very smoothly. Uh, thank you for joining me. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope that you can watch the whole video. Um, and then I'm going to drive two or three hours. And we will, well, I will, put the clear coat on. Um, <coughs> I will see you next time. God bless you. Um, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. It's going to be 62, but it's going to be rainy. I might walk down to the market because I saw a whole bunch more uh, makeup. And I think I want to So, that's, that's a tentative plan. It depends on whether it's pouring or not. So, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. God bless you. Mwah. Please subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 by Christmas. We're at 87. We can do it, guys. Bye.